Welcome everyone. Uh, in today's session, we're going to see the spreadsheet that started from September 2021 for the level three. Uh, we're going to see the second part. So uh, we're going to practice task number four and task number five. So let's start this one. Let's have a look at the question first. Task three, uh, task four is all about three marks. So it's going to be very simple. We have only three marks. That means like you really don't have to do much. It says um, Cohen would like to analyze his sales by sales assistants employed. Open the sales assistant worksheet. So the worksheet we can download from here. So if you go to the top, you'll be able to download the worksheet from here. If you click here, Excel file will be downloaded on your computer. And after you'll be able to practice that question. And uh, the question here is they like to see um, how much the sales assistant making uh, and uh, open the sales assistant worksheet, then use the appropriate function. So if the question says use the appropriate function, that means you can use any function you like. To subtotal the quantity column A, and the revenue column G and for each sales assistant column C. So we have to work on three column, column A, that is for the subtotal, for the revenue, for the G and for each sales assistant, how many sales assistant we have that for the C. Adjust column to a suitable width so all the text is displayed. So basically they are saying like, you need to make sure like the column have a, enough space so that uh, you can see everything. So it displays everything. So let's have a look at uh, the worksheet we have and uh, we'll try to solve this question. So we can see here, uh, they are saying uh, sales assistant. This is the tab they asked to open. And after that they said, we have to make the total of the column G, that is the revenue, and we have to make the total for column F, and the F is all about uh, the quantity. And also who is the sales um, uh, assistant, the name with the column C. So we need to see how much uh, sold or how much revenue made by which uh, sales assistant. So in this case, we can do the sort. Uh, obviously, in order to do the sort, we have to we have to uh, select up to here, uh, and we like to see with the name. So sales assistant that is column C. So let's have a look if I can do it that way. So it says sort, and we say it sales assistant that is uh, column C, and we do one to Z. And we can see here uh, now all the sales assistant, uh, the name is sorted. So Hayden came first, then we have a coin. So all the coin is together. So we'll be able to see how much is the total for that. So we have to see how much uh, the total quantity for uh, Hayden, how much is the total quantity for coin. And all you have to do, have to make a space once uh, this name is finished. So we can see here we have Hayden up to Hayden and number 18, we have to make an insert a new uh, row. So it said insert, so I'll make a space here so that we can say total. And here we can make a total. Now to make a total, you can use the sum or you can click the auto sum, that will be really fast. So on your calculator on the home tab, if you do auto sum, it will tell you how much is the auto sum. And we can just uh, drag to see how much is the total revenue uh, this person make. So we can say total for Hayden. And so we can do the same thing for coin. So it said total for Hayden. We can do the same thing for coin. So it started from here. We have a coin up to here. And we make a space. So make the sum and drag this one. Total for Hayden. 
So that's how we can do for the rest of the employee as well. For example, for the LoRa, we can make a space here. How much is for the LoRa? So we make it auto sum. And we can see how much is the revenue total. And we can say total for LoRa. So we can basically do for each employee separately. This question is quite simple. We don't have much thing. Uh, but, but just they uh, ask you to sort it the employee and the quantity and how much revenue they make to make the total. So this is not very difficult thing and we have only three marks to do it. So if you know the sort uh, formula, it will be uh, easy for you to do it really quick. All right, so let's move to the next one. Let's have a look what we have for the next one. The next one we have for question number five. So let's read this question. It says, Cohen would like to analyze his sales data for last year. And uh, he has three sales outlets, the shop, cake decorating school, and the internet, okay? He is trying to identify his best selling line of the year and sales outlet which generated the most income. So it is normal when uh, the business have a different sort of income. For example, let's say you sell product uh, on the shop and you sell product by online. So you maybe try to know like which one give you more revenue by selling online or by selling from the shop. So he want to know like from the three outlet from the shop and the decorating a school and the internet, which one generating more income. So the first thing we have to see, open the sales analyze worksheet. So we have to open the same worksheet and open the tab that is called sales analysis. Then after that, it says using the data in cell A3 to D56. Using the data in cell A3 to D56, we have to um, we have to select everything within this range. Create a pivot table or pivot table chart on the same sheet starting in cell I3. So on the same sheet. So where we have the data. On the same sheet, we have to create a pivot table on the column or cell I3. The pivot table show product in the row. So in the row column, it should show the product and the type of cells in the column. So type of cells will be in the column. So how many types it will be in the column and on the row, it will be the product. Change the chart to 3D custard column chart so you can change the chart. So once you make one chart, you will be able to change it any, any format you like. Ensure that a legend is visible on the left-hand side on the chart. So legend is, is the summary, how many product you have. So they said, make sure it's on the left-hand side. Change the color of the school data series to green. So where we have a school data series, make it green. Ensure all the data is visible, okay. So let's open the worksheet. And from the worksheet, we have to open the sales analysis. And from here, all we have to do, we have to do the pivot table first and after that we're going to create the chart so let's have a look how can you make the pivot table remember when you uh, make the pivot table you have to make sure you select the range so the question says select the range from a3 to d56 so a3 to d56 and i'll do that <laughs> And obviously, like after the selecting, uh, we can go to the insert. And on the insert section, you will see the pivot table. Normally, like uh, you can choose the recommended pivot table, but you can create your own if you like. 
uh, it will go with the pivot table. And it says where I like to create the pivot table. Uh, we like to open a new worksheet or want the same sheet where I have my data. So I'll choose the existing worksheet because the question said create the pivot table on the I3. So I'll select here. So I want my pivot table there. And after I press OK, and the table will be uh, created there. And after we need to see some more information, the question said, uh, keep the product in the row and the type of cell in the column. So let's go back there. So we said, keep, keep the type on the row. So let's say we'll go to the row and the product is on the column and the revenue. Now, sometimes, uh, obviously, like, uh, it's very important to see how actually this work. So if you change it, by the same time, it will change everything as well. So let's say if we change this one, so product will be under the row and the cell time will be on the column. So this is the question asking to do, but you can only change the way you like to do, you like to represent. On the row, we showing all this product, cupcake and the flapjack and the popcakes, but we have here the revenue. In the revenue section, the value section, sometimes, uh, obviously if I off it from here, you'll see it will be gone. But if I click the revenue, it will come there. Sometimes what happened, uh, on the Excel, uh, sometimes uh, it is set up not with the sum, sometimes it's set up with a quantity. So if you don't see the same figure, you will need to check yourself. So how you check, you click here and you click on the value setting and you need to make sure it is selected on the sum because by default, some Excel, they select the count. So in this case, you can see it will show only the number, not the total. So you need to make sure the value setting is always with the sum. So it will give you the total amount. So as soon as we have it, the next point we're going to talk about, that will be our, the chart, pivot chart. Now the pivot chart, you can click here. Once, as soon as you open the pivot table, the pivot chart will be open on the right. So you can click here to see what is the pivot chart we have here. And the Gaussian said to open, a, a caster column. So that is a 3D caster column. So let's have a look which one is 3D caster column. And you can see this one is a 3D caster column. So you open that. You can move the way you want the chart. There's no problem for that. So this is the caster column, uh, uh, pivot table chart. And after this said, um, the question said uh, some information. If you remember, they said we have to move uh, the have to move the there was a stop working for a moment. I hope it is not working. So we can see here um, the chart and this chart we can move the way we want, as I said. And the question also said we have to move the of this information uh, that is called um, legend uh, is visible on the left hand side. So we need to move the legend. This is the legend we can see here in the, uh, on the right corner. They said you have to move it to the left. So you can do that. It's not a, it's not a big problem. So all you have to do, we have to hold our cursor there. And as soon as we click here, there'll be a little bracket and you can hold it and you can move it actually on the left. And after this table, the chart, you can make it small, you can make it bigger the way you want. Uh, let's say we'll try to make it a little bit bigger first. And so we make it a little bit lower as well. So let's try to move this one here and see how does it work. Uh, let's try to change the chart type. They said change the chart type to the custard level 
3D caster. So let's do that. So we can make it a little bit smaller and you can move it to the left and right, any side you like. Computer is a little bit slow today. But anyway, so this is how we can uh, do our chart and we can change everything the way we like. The next information is here that is saying like, uh, you have to change the color of the school. So now, right now the school, we have the orange. They said change it to green. So let's make it a little bit green. Let's make it a little bit bigger first. And we can make it green. Okay, so all you have to do, if we like to change the color of the column, all you have to do, you have to click it here on the column. And so we have to change it. We can right click or you can change from the right side. You can right click, it will show you the filling. And you click here, change the green. And all this uh, school will be green after. All right, we didn't change that. We're supposed to change the school. So let's change that. So that's how we can change our pivot table and uh, the chart. So it's not a very difficult thing, you can see it. Um, but I have some more uh, Excel for the synoptic level three. Uh, that will be more helpful because I have shown a lot of examples there. So obviously more your practice will be more mm -hmm. confidence. So I, I would recommend to practice more and more from there. All right, so we'll stop here today. This is the second part of the spreadsheet that uh, the new format we expecting from September, 2021. And hopefully this will help you to do some practice. And if you have any question, feel free to email me and I'll try to help you if I can. Thank you for uh, uh, watching the videos and also like, uh, sorry for the distraction we have uh, during the recording because of this uh, hanging some software here. All right, so I'll see you soon with any other videos uh, and hopefully this uh, will help you to study your Excel.